So the Bible teaches us that when we go to work, and you have a job to do, and you have someone that's over you, that has authority over you, that you're supposed to work, and you're supposed to listen to them, and you're supposed to do your job as unto Christ. I mean, think about the job that you would do if instead of your boss being the one telling you what to do, it was Christ. How good of a job would you want to do then? And, and you know, maybe your job is to clean toilets. Maybe that's your job. Hey, I've had that job before. It's work. Maybe that's your job. Maybe it's a real humble job. But if Jesus Christ is the one saying, hey, I need you to clean that toilet, how good of a job do you want to do for him? If he's telling you to do something, I mean, I would think that you'd want to do the best you can. Hey, this is, this is, this is great. This is clean. Instead of just cutting corners, going, eh, well, good enough. I don't care. Whatever. I don't like that job anyways. It's a lot easier to have that type of an attitude towards someone that's just your boss Right? Especially if your boss is someone who you don't really like or maybe they don't treat you very well. But here's what the Bible teaches about that is that regardless of whether or not your boss teach, you know, treats you well, you still need to do your job as if you're serving Christ. Now, the Bible also teaches that the masters are supposed to treat people well, treat the servants well. and you know, That's on them. But as with everything in life, you don't control what other people do. You control what you do. So whether it be a marriage, whether you're a child, whether you're a parent, whether you're a boss, whether you're a servant, whatever role you're in, you can't do wrong on your job because someone else isn't doing their job. The wife can't, can't say, well, I'm not going to be a godly wife because my husband is a jerk to me. And the husband can't say, well, I'm not going to be a good godly husband because my wife just doesn't listen and does this. You, know, you can't do that. I mean, that, not in God's eyes. He's going to say, no, you do what you're supposed to do. You've got a job to do. You work. You work hard. How about this? How about you have a good testimony as someone who works hard and doesn't just try to find every way to, to skip out on work and, and take every break that you possibly can and, and cut corners and then, and then tell people, yeah, I'm a Christian, by the way. Yeah, I follow Christ. Let's make sure that we can, you know, have a good testimony with the integrity of our heart that if people are going to understand and know, yeah, you're a Christian, hey, I, you know what? I might have guessed that because I could see how hard you work. I could see that no matter what the job is, you're willing to do it and you're going to spend the extra time and you're going to do it right and you're not going to work. Look at verse number six. Not with eye service as men pleasers. And you know the type. There's a type of people that are only going to work when someone's watching them. Oh, wait, hey, hey, the boss is here. Look busy. And they're going to be all busy and look real fast. They're like, oh, man, look how good I'm doing. And then as soon as they turn the corner and walk away, it's... Right? That's a man pleaser. That's eye service. That's just, I'm only going to do good so that when someone's looking at me, then they could think I'm doing a good job. You need to be, it says, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. You're going to do the right thing. You're going to work hard because that's just what you need to do. And it doesn't matter who's watching. You could be the only one on a Saturday or whatever at work and doing a job, and no one's going to know, and no one's going to see, but you're going to do it anyway because you've got a job to do. And you know what? Who sees in the end? God sees that. God sees the work that you do, and God knows your heart, and God will see if you are working as unto Christ at whatever it is that you're doing, you have a master over you, and you're just a servant, he's going to see your hard work, and he will bless you for it. And you say, well, no one's recognizing me. I'm not getting any appreciation, so why should I work so hard? Because God sees what you do. Because ultimately, God will bless you for what you do. 